Hey guys, I'm back again with a new jailbreak tweak. This one is called Autoresponder. Can you guess what that does? Well, I'll bet you can. But this is for SMS messages. Um, it's for texting. So the point of this is to make sure that no one ever feels ignored when you ignore them, uh, when you don't reply to their SMS messages. <laughs> um, no, we're sure you're just busy and you just haven't got back to them yet. Yeah, sure. That's the reason why you haven't responded. No, but seriously, autoresponder will make sure that anyone who texts you knows that you're unable to respond and will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, it'll reply to any text that you receive while it's enabled, and it'll send the message uh, to a selected person. You don't even have to hit anything or send any buttons. It just does it automatically. Now, one point of note that the developer makes is that this will, of course, use SMS messages from your plan. So if you're on a limited SMS budget, you're probably going to want to think about this before installing it. Let's go ahead and install and see what it's all about. Okay, Autoresponder is installed. There are no new app icons on the home screen. So let's go into our settings app and check out the settings section for Autoresponder here. Here it is. All right, it's disabled by default. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. And then you'll see here an uh, interesting message um, selection. Here you can set up what type of canned responses you want to reply uh, to your text messages, or you can set up a custom message right here. Now it's set to custom message by default, but if you open it up, you can set to any one of these canned responses, such as driving, meeting, movie, sleeping, school, generic. Uh, let's choose driving because that's a popular one right now. Um, but here's where you can set up your custom message if you choose to do that. I don't think I'll do that. I'll just keep it at driving. Now you have this recent refresh delay, which is set to 300. The purpose of this is, let's say someone sends you a text message and autoresponder replies saying, I'm busy. And then that same person sends you another immediate text message. Well, autoresponder isn't going to reply until this 300 second threshold is met, which is about five minutes. So that prevents, you know, just a constant stream of auto replies being sent out, wasting your text messages. Um, so this kind of prevents the flood of, you know, auto responses. So we have it set up how we like it. Let's go ahead and go out and let's test this baby out. Let's go to messages. I'll send myself a test text message here. All right. So test. Okay, so here's your reply. I'm currently driving. I will get back to you when I have reached my destination. So as you can see, that's how autoresponder works. So it, it'll reply to whoever's sent you a text message whenever you're on the road and um, it'll let them know that you're unavailable at the moment, but you'll get back to them as soon as you can. Now, the only thing about this is that this will be extremely annoying to have to enable and disable uh, by going all the way to the, your settings app whenever you need it to turn it on. So thankfully, if you go back into Cydia, you'll find an SB settings toggle for autoresponder. So just type in autoresponder. Oops. There you go. There's your SB settings toggle. If you install the SB settings toggle, you can enable or disable autoresponder via SB settings. And that makes it extremely easy um, to manage. So what do you think about autoresponder? Do you think it would be handy? I think so, especially if you're driving um, or if you're just busy, you don't feel like answering text messages at the moment. You can just let them know. You'll get back to them. So if autoresponder seems like a tweak that you'd be interested in, you can go to the Cydia store and purchase it for $1.50. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.